Hey guys, this is James from Squid Gaming, and today I'm doing another Armor 3 Editor tutorial. Um, this one is on tasks and objectives. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you don't know what that means within Armor, I'll show you now. Um, up the top there, you see it's task assigned to destroy a helicopter, and I've got a plant explosives waypoint over there. Now, if I hit M, this uh, tasks thing has now appeared. Now, um, it's got a description, it's got a name, it's assigned to me, um, and it's in here. And you can have multiple, you can have them all assigned, you can have different ones assigned, you can complete them, all that stuff. Um, this one will be completed when I plant the explosives and detonate them, destroying the helicopter. Um, the only thing is, if you play this in multiplayer, and I go and I switch to this guy so as if I was this guy he will not have the task you can give him the task by duplicating the task and then because you can only assign a task to one person um, you can have both see the task but only one person can actually have it assigned to them because basically the way that it would work is in a military situation you don't tell every single person their exact specific objective. You tell them the ultimate goal of the mission and then the commanding officer for each unit, each squad, each platoon, as it goes up has more and more information and then they just pass it down. And as it gets to the squad level, it's basically just passed down by words. You don't... It doesn't come down through the radio. It doesn't um, come down in a task. It's a lot more informal. So that's why this way makes sense and it's also easier because it's designed to be this way um, so yeah that's why it is only assigned to the team leader you can change that but I wouldn't recommend it if you want multiple people to have it make multiple team leaders make multiple squads you need a lot of people obviously or AIs but I don't really trust the AIs they're not very good um, and make multiple missions and it just makes it more dynamic and feel better. So to create one, there's three basic stages for a task. There's creating a task, there's ending a task. There's only really two stages, there's creating it and ending it. Um, there's just different ways to end it. But to create it, it's pretty much always the same. I'll have this in big letters because down here it's a bit small. But um, you just go name of task, space equals space, the person you're assigning it to, so player one. You have to make sure you've named your uh, player. Um, then create simple task. Um, I'm not gonna read all these out because it'll be written up there nice and big. And then in square brackets, the name of the task and then semicolon to separate it from the next line. Um, and then set current task um, assigns that task to the player one. So the first one lets play one, it creates the task and it lets play one see it. Second one um, assigns it to him. So if you couldn't see it, it wouldn't actually work. So if you don't do player one in both, if you make them different, it won't work. Um, then set the description, destroy KA-60 helicopter in air station Mike 26. So that was the description that you saw over um, there when you went into the map and then tasks and then um, you separate it and the next bit is mission objective which was the title of that description and then the third bit in these brackets is plant explosives which is what it says on the waypoint itself um, so you can make that whatever you want you can say like over here exclamation mark depending on what it is just you know um, whatever seems appropriate. And then um, set task state assigned. That will change the symbol on it to assigned. Because you can you can give it to per, you can give five missions to someone and then assign each one as the previous one gets completed. But they can, they can see all of them. Um, they're all like their current tasks but they're not all currently assigned. Some of them could be succeeded, some of them could be failed, some of them could be still going. Um, 
So you can set that. Well, you'd always set it as a sign for the start. And then... Um, if you don't set it as a sign, obviously it's just blank. They can see it, they can do it, but they're not really supposed to do it. Um, but they know they're going to have to do it at some point. And then uh, simple task destination. Um, I've just got a, it says get market position, uh, target marker in bracket, in quotes. And target marker is there. It's basically on the helicopter. You can also make it track the helicopter but i didn't like that's better for things that are moving like i've got one over here which an objective is tracking this actual helicopter and that works well works perfectly fine but if you don't need to do it if it's not moving then that's fine if you're anticipating that helicopter may take off at some point then you would attach it to the helicopter or you just attach the marker to the helicopter but that just overcomplicates things if you don't need to do it. And then finally, um, the bit that sort of just makes the whole thing feel a lot more polished is the task hint, which is the little box which comes up in the top of the screen. And the first thing you do in the brackets is the name, is the word, sorry, that you put in it. So I put task assigned and slash N for new line. Then destroy helicopter. You can have multiple new lines. So you, I'm not sure how many lines you can have. I think it would look kind of stupid after you start having too many anyway. Um, so just keep that one simple because you have a more detailed description when you actually go into the map. Um, and then the one 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 is um, the color. So it's red, green, blue, and then alpha or opacity. Um, I normally, when it's being assigned, make it white. When you've succeeded at make it green and when you failed at make it red. Or if it's cancelled, you can make it sort of a grey or you can also just make it red. Um, and then the last bit is task new. That just sets the symbol of the hint. Because the hint technically has nothing to do with the task itself. You notice in the entire hint command, you never reference task 1 or the name of the task. It just comes up. You can make it say whatever you want. So you gotta just make sure you get it all right. And task new will just tell it to make the symbol um, for a new task. You can also do uh, task failed, task succeeded, and that's it. Because um, if it's canceled, it it's the same symbol for failed. Um, so yeah, that's the code for creating a task and I hopefully explained it well enough. Um, and then that will just do what you saw at the start of the video. I walked up, it assigned it to me and gave me the objective. Now, when I've completed the objective, you want it to tell that, so sorry, uh, to set that task state to succeeded, which is what this uh, trigger does. Um, so I've got task one set task state succeeded which will just change the symbol to uh, succeed in the map. It'll remove the waypoint and you're done. And then I've got task hint, task complete in green. I made it 0 0.2, 0 0.8 for red and green just to make it so it's not a super bright green. It's less of a fluoro green, more of a, I don't know, green. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it. And it, it's still pretty green. It didn't really make much difference anyway. And then I've got is task complete, new line, helicopter destroyed. Oops, shit. Um, and then, ah, oh, task done, sorry, not task succeeded for the symbol. You can look these up. I'll, I'll link a sort of database of uh, variables and commands for armor in all the armor games. So it's a very, I use it constantly. I always have it open when I'm doing this stuff. Um, it tells you all the syntax for every command and every command there is, stuff like that. Now for this one I've also got it telling a helicopter to start flying lower now because it's the evac helicopter. Um, and then I'm creating task 2 um, which I actually don't want to be called destroy helo. I don't know why it is called destroy helo. Um, 
So now I'm creating task two. Task one has been succeeded, so task two is now being created. And this is all in the same command, so it all happens basically exactly the same time. So there won't be any gap. You can set it to end and then wait a while before or have something else trigger the second task being created, like getting to a specific point. Um, it's still obviously triggered by the condition that target helicopter is no longer alive. Um, so we've now created the simple task for evac. Uh, the description is evac by chopper at pickup. Pickup is a waypoint, a big green circle waypoint on the map. So you should know where that is. And then I've just made the title evac and on the waypoint evac again. It's pretty basic because it's a pretty simple task. And then player one set current task to task two. So now it's assigned to him. Well, then set task date assigned. Now it's assigned to him. And then set the target to, um, see this is set simple task target instead of destination, which um, then lets you put in the name of an object. So I put in evac one, which is the name of the helicopter and then comma space true, because you just need to do that and then close the bracket. And that will now make the target always stuck to that helicopter, which is really good because it, it just makes it move with it. You can tell that it's moving from very far away. Um, it does work quite well. It makes the person look at the helicopter, not just at the general area, but you don't have to do that. You can just do the marker position as well. And then just a task hint same one task assign new line evac or in white with task new um god that's a mouthful so hopefully i explained that one enough as well so that's ending and creating a new task when it's succeeded now if it's failed i've got one here um skip all this crap uh where is it yeah task to set state set task state cancelled and this is because as you approach the helicopter it explodes due to unknown mechanical failure and then it will come up with a hint saying evac chopper destroyed find another way off the island that will come up in red um, and then it sets my new destination um, to a waypoint which is just off the coast over here um, so, and then when you hit this big trigger here, you will finish the mission. And the only way to get off the island is either to steal these boats or to steal these helicopters off the airfield, which has quite a lot of dudes on it, so it's not that easy. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully that all made sense. I would do a playthrough of the mission right now, but that would take takes about 45 minutes to finish this mission. But I think me and Dan are going to record and play through this mission at some point. Um, so definitely watch that if you want to see everything that is in this, everything I just showed you in action. Um, if you have any problems, just comment and I will try and get back to you. Or someone else might. People do know more than me most of the time anyway. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.